Hey folks, welcome to the Wilson Combat Channel and the Circle WC Ranch Lodge, where Bill Wilson is going to show us the latest addition to the Wilson Combat Empire. Bill, tell us about Lehigh. Uh, yeah, at the first of the year, we, uh, we purchased uh, the assets of Lehigh Defense. Uh, it was uh, a Pennsylvania-based LLC. We uh, uh, have created a Texas-based LLC that's the new Lehigh Defense is, is a Texas-based company. Uh, even though right now it is actually operating out of South Dakota, we're running running out of the South Dakota plant uh, while we build a purpose-built building here uh, outside of Clarksville, Texas. Hopefully, we're going to be fully operational in the the new building in the October timeframe this this fall. But we make some really unique unique products. Uh, you know, on the handgun side, you know, we've got the Extreme Defense and Extreme Penetrator design bullets uh, like the. The extreme defense here, this is a 90 grain, nine millimeter. It doesn't rely on, on expansion like a normal hollow point bullet, and it's not affected by whatever, you know, clothing or drywall or whatever it has to shoot through, you know, before it hits intended target. That, that's, that's, it's not affected at all by that. It's gonna perform the same, whether it shoots through nothing or if it shoots through heavy clothing. You know, there's no hollow point to clog up. The way this projectile works, when it hits the fluid, you know, it, the flutes in the bullet here, you know, basically move all that fluid out of the way and it makes a, a large temporary and, and a, a pretty large permanent wound cavity that doesn't rely on expansion for it to do that. So it's a very consistent bullet. The extreme defense version like this uh, is designed to make a, make a large wound but not penetrate extremely deep. You know, it's pretty much FBI protocol. And then we have the, the bullets that are designed more for hunting and stuff like that that are the Extreme Penetrator. It's a similar design, but the flutes are created to where it, it doesn't make quite as massive a, of a wound, but it penetrates much deeper. It's more designed for hunting applications. So that's, that's kind of what we've got on the handgun side. And then on the, on the rifle side, uh, the two most important products are our uh, Control Chaos bullet, which is this bullet here. And what it does uh, on impact, when it, once it hits fluid, the front of the bullet, uh, got a, you, I think you can see there, there's a deep groove there. Mm -hmm. Everything forward of that deep groove will shed off of this bullet and it will be, uh, you know, come apart in four, four big pedals like that. And then the the wad cutter base then will continue on and penetrate up to 20, 20, 22 inches deep, something like that in, in, in gel. What you get there, you get a, a massive initial, you know, wound, but then you get deep penetration. You kind of get the best of both worlds of a, you kind of got a, you know, a ballistic tip type performance as well as a bonded bullet performance at the same time. That, that's a really unique bullet. It comes in, in almost all calibers. You know, this is a 62 grain for a 223, and that's a 125, 30 cal. But then the other technology is, you know, this, this is a, a bullet that does something similar to that that's designed for subsonic. And what this bullet will do, even though it's only being launched at like 1,050 foot a second to, to stay subsonic out of the 300 blackout, it sheds three large 30 grain pedals and then 160 106 grain base continues on so even though it's subsonic it's a very very deadly bullet you know as far as self-defense or, or shooting game stuff like that and then we have a similar bullet to that one that stays together it, it just it just forms a big uh, four big pedals like that but the pedals don't shed off off the bullet it, it you know and so if you want Total weight retention, we've got a subsonic bullet that does that, that, you know, goes out into a big, almost a flower type thing. And then you got the one that sheds the front, which is even, even more deadly. I know that you have done uh, a good deal of uh, hunting with these and have seen how they do in flesh and bone. Can you share that with our viewers? Yeah, especially with this 125 30 cal uh, that we designed specifically for our 300 hammer cartridge. Since, since January 1, I've killed, I think, 96 hogs with that, with that bullet. What are the wound channels looking like compared to what you've been using before? Uh, the initial where the pedals blow off, it looks like a hand grenade went off inside the, 
inside the hog, you know. And, uh, you know, as you know, big hogs are real tough. Sometimes the base penetrates, you know, fully through the hog. Sometimes if the hog's quartered, it's still in, it's still in there, but it's went completely through the lung cavity, you know, by the time it stops. It's pretty impressive. Uh, what are the prices going to be looking like? Well, since uh, the control chaos and, and the subsonic bullets uh, are individually cut in on a, on a, on a, a precision Swiss, Swiss automated lathe, and so they're relatively expensive compared to a cup and core bullet, but, uh, but you get you know, some performance that you just can't get any other way. Some of our, our more popular handgun bullets, like the 90 grain 9 millimeter there, which is our best-selling bullet in the, in the product line, it's, it's produced by a different process, and, and they're, they're pretty competitively priced to any premium, uh, you know, self-defense type bullet. And then, uh, you know, we haven't, haven't got them online yet, but we're, we'll have Lehigh branded ammunition available, you know, very shortly also. So you'll be able to, you'll be able to buy, buy these loads in, in the more popular, you know, calibers, both handgun and rifle. Sounds impressive. Uh, I presume these are pretty good as far as being barrier blind too. Yeah, there's not that much that'll that'll stop stop one of them as far as a you know windshield or car door or something like that. Well, we're looking forward to seeing it out there and uh, getting some more field reports from the self defense sector. Uh, anything to add, Bill? I think uh, anybody that that tries the product will be be pretty impressed with what it'll what it'll do, and and anybody that's. Uh, uh, kind of wants the ultimate hunting bullet, uh, they need to check out that control chaos. Well, folks, there you have it. If you have a chance to shoot any critters with it, uh, send the photographs, uh, particularly of the wound channel when you dress it out, to our producer, Titus, and uh, we'll possibly do a follow-up. In the meantime, your choices for self-defense and hunting just got a little bit more broad. Okay, thanks for sharing it with us, Bill. Thank you.